Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from firstaidforpets.net. Today I'm going to talk about um, spinal injuries in dogs and how you can help them. The key thing is that most pets will not have a spinal injury, but you should suspect a spinal injury if your pet has fallen from a height, if something heavy has fallen onto them, if they've been involved in a car accident either within the car or being hit by a car or some other vehicle traveling at speed, if they have had a head injury, head injury think spinal injury. So with any of those things, looking at the mechanism of injury and looking at the way they have fallen and landed, if you think it's likely that they might have um, twisted their neck or spine in landing, then you should be extra cautious. Now, um, the key thing is if they are conscious and it's safe to leave them where they are, then you would leave them where they are and get veterinary advice. The vet is not likely to be able to come to you, so you're likely to, be, to have to transport them. And the best way to transport them is to actually roll them on a stiff board or a parcel shelf from the back of your car is a good way. And you use that as an improvised stretcher. And you do your very best not to twist their spine as you are getting them onto that stretcher to transport them to the vet. You would suspect a spinal injury as well if they are showing signs of pain, they're a bit lethargy, they're walking oddly, their spine looks a bit deformed. But the main thing is you're actually looking at what has happened. If you're worried about their airway, but they are still breathing, then the recovery position is the best position to put them in. If they're unconscious and not breathing, you can try CPR, um, but you are gonna have to get them to a vet very quickly. So the key advice is to do your best to log roll them into, um, onto a spinal um, or a stiff board that you can use as a, as a spinal board or an improvised stretcher and get them to the, to the vet as quickly as you can. Phone the vet in advance so that they know to expect you and that they can give you any extra advice concerning your pet and the injuries they have suffered. And if there's any major bleeding as well, you will need to apply pressure to stop that as well. That's really serious bleeding. Otherwise, it's the airway that always takes priority and then you're being careful with the, a potential spinal injury. I hope that's helpful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets.